Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to catch all of the bug snacks inside of Garden Grove in Bug Snacks. Let's go ahead and get on started. This area is probably the easiest area of them all because there aren't many bug snacks and they aren't that hard to catch. So for the first one, um, there are two methods to get the bunger, which is obviously the best bug snack in the game. But there are two methods to get one. I will be showing you the easier one because you should have been able to do the harder one in the main story. But just to efficiently catch bungers, you're going to want to get your trip shot out. And this is just to catch this one. The other one you can easily do as well. Just fire it at this bridge and then wait for the bunger to come. And then you can catch him in your net. Pretty easy bunger capture. The next bug snack is the Frider. The Frider is also pretty easy. It's a little more annoying than the Bunger, but it's also it's still pretty easy. So what you're gonna do is place on your trap, get your saw slinger out with the ketchup, just slather your trap with ketchup, and then just wait for them to come because they will be attracted by the ketchup. And then they'll just run right into your trap. And you can catch them just like that. The next bug snack is the Shishka Bug. Now, this snack is also pretty easy. It might be a bit annoying just because of how you ha catch it. So it'll run into the- so you can- it'll run into the bush and what you're gonna want to do is place your snack trap outside the bush, then get your saw slinger, and make sure you have the other bunger available for this, because the Shishka Bug will never come out unless it is hit by a bunger. And so you're just going to want to lure the bunger over with some ketchup. And then just make sure the... And then just... Okay. Okay, this didn't work as intended. Okay, well that actually makes it easier. Okay. So the shishka bug is kind of annoying to catch, but once you learn how to do it, it's pretty easy. So just get get your thing back over, just slather the bush with ketchup. Oh gosh, it's over there now. Uh, buddy, come over here. Okay, it's getting attracted by the ketchup, and then you just quickly switch to your snack trap as the bunger comes over. Oh, it went back over! Not, okay, that's this is getting annoying. But actually, wait, I know what I can do. Wait, this is so easy. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, sorry, <laughs> this is annoying. But um, okay, let's try this again. So this is not working. Then. Oh, hey, there's the scare snap up there. I I just noticed that. Um, anyways, <laughs> sorry, this is taking a while. Um, okay, well that's actually helpful for later, but uh, yeah, this is kind of annoying and I want to try to catch it so that you guys know that this works, but um, darn. But um, I think I'm just gonna come back to it just that I don't spend half the video trying to get it. Um, but I'll come back to it so you guys know how to catch it. Next is the sweetie fly. This one's pretty simple. What you're gonna want to do is find the sweetie fly. Where is it? I don't remember, where is it? Oh, it's over there. Um. Well, there's actually two of them. So you're gonna want to scan them and. You'll see their pattern. You're gonna wanna grab your trip shot, just place it somewhere like on this tree. And then you're gonna wanna aim it. Okay, no, not, not like that. Um, you're gonna wanna aim it up where the butt, the sweetie fly will get caught. Like, it'll come through its path. And then just go ahead and fire it. The sweetie fly will get stunned. It'll fall down to the ground. And you can walk over and pick it up. Okay, darn. Okay, that was close. Um, now for the white strabby. 
this works like a normal strabby they just i guess just wanted to put one over here um but um so yeah um you're just gonna it works like a normal strabby just place the trap where it runs in the bush and then get back and then just go ahead and catch it all right and then you will have the white strabby and then next is the, the dr sodi probably one of the easiest in this area because literally all you have to do is just catch it in a trap so where is it okay there it is you can scan its pattern just so that you know how to catch it but really you can just place it in its pet the snack trap in its path and you can go ahead and pick it up and then next is the weenie worm oh what did i just do is the weenie worm the weenie worm is also pretty easy it works kind of like a rootle but it won't plant itself in the ground so you're just going to want to run over to um this area by this fence you'll see it just wiggling around you're going to want to place your trap in its path and then just go ahead and catch it and then next is the cob hopper probably the most annoying bug snack in this area aside with the shishka bug because of how it works so what you're going to want to do is find it and then scan it so that you know its path Basically, it's just going to hop from these few trees, and what you're going to want to do is get out your trip shot. And you're basically just going to want to try to st stun it. By This will work, I think. So you're just going to want to put it in a good spot to where the cob hopper will be stunned as it jumps. Um, I need to find a good spot. Okay, I don't think I placed this in a good spot. Um, oh, I know a good spot. Okay. So yeah, it's just going to hop from three different... Well, no, I think it's more than three. But you're just going to want to figure out a good spot where you know the cob hopper will jump toward. And then we we'll just need to wait for it to be stunned by jumping into your trip shot. Okay, well, this is annoying. It's taking forever. Um, but yeah... It's pretty simple. I wish I could cut these. Okay, that didn't work. Yeah, but I wish I knew how to cut these efficiently, but I don't have like a super good editing software. Um, and by that I just I just use um my camera on my phone. Um, but I'm just trying to figure out a good spot to aim my trip shot. Just so that to ensure this thing gets caught. Okay, what is it getting? Oh, it's getting stuck on the tree. Well, actually, I don't think I'm supposed to put it on the tree. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it. And then place it on this rock. And then, I think if I just do that. I think that'll work. No, I think it's too low, actually. Darn. Okay, why is this difficult? Um. I don't think that'll work either. Wait, what's in that tree? It's not the cob hopper. Wait, what's in the tree? Something's in that tree. Wait, what? There's not a cob hopper in that. Okay, whatever. But, um, uh, alright, why is this, this video is going to be so long just because I'm struggling to remember how to catch these bug snacks. Oh, it jumps from those trees, so that makes it way easier. Okay. <sighs> alright, this should be how I do it. So I can just set it up like that. Make sure not to trip it myself. I believe this will work. Just gotta wait for it to jump down. 
Wait, I think the thing that was up there jumped out. Um, yeah, that's not working. Maybe if I do... No, not the launch pad! No, I had the perfect opportunity to catch it, darn. Um, I think this will- okay, this has to work. Okay, just gotta wait for it. Sorry this is taking forever, but the call hopper is kind of annoying because of how it works. What? How did they not get it? Darn. Okay, maybe when it hops from tr these trees. If it even does, which it didn't. Great. Yeah, the, the cob hop. Yes, it finally tripped it. All right, I got it. Uh, catch it with my net. And there's cob hopper. And then before we get back to the shishka bug, I will show you all five snack pod locations. Um, these are pretty simple, like most snack pods are, except for a few. But, um, okay. So we'll start up here. And then the first crispy snack pod is on this ledge over here and by where the weenie worm spawns. And then the next one is up here. Yep, there it is. You just go ahead and grab it. Okay, well, the terrain wouldn't get in my way. And then next is we'll just go over there because it's, I can use this convenient log. Okay, well, I guess not then. I'll come back to it. Okay, uh, the next one is behind this rock. And then the next one is behind this tree. Um... Yeah, I just got hit by a bunger. Okay, bunger, can you stop hitting me? Thank you. And then the last one, which is probably one of the easiest, just because of how easy it is to spot, is if I can get there by playing with one hand. Darn. Okay. Darn it! Alright, there you go. Um, the last one is in Befica's cave. It's just chilling out on the wall. You can go ahead and grab it. And then... Alright, so now we're back to the Shishka bug. I think I'm actually gonna sleep to get it to respawn like without being in the bush oh, yeah, by the way you can use this bed to sleep it's kind of convenient if you're if it's, the game is in nighttime uh for the sweetie fly because the sweetie fly only spawns from 4 to 4 4 a.m to 4 p.m so where are the shishka bugs Okay, one of them is in that bush. Okay, so make sure that the bunger doesn't knock your trap like it did me. Um, hopefully this won't. Okay, well, I can just miss. Darn it! Missed. Darn it! close. No! He was walking out! Okay, this is wrong. Bro! I'm getting so close to catching it. I just keep miss- I just keep whiffing it. There we go, finally! Okay, that was annoying. But you get the idea. 
Thank you for watching this extremely long video of me trying to catch the cob hopper and the shishka bug. Um, sorry that it took so long. I kind of forgot how to catch those bug snacks, but I remembered. And yeah, that's it. And I uh, will see you.